total of 267 teams from around Japan participated in the 14th annual Kawasaki Robot Festival. On August 26, 32 teams that advanced beyond the preliminaries competed in the tournament finals. The Kawasaki Robot Festival is a two-day championship tournament that pits remote-controlled robots featuring locomotive and appendage capabilities that enable the robots to move about and also carry and move objects. Spectators filled the stand and watched intently with bated breath as the rich assembly of unique robots engaged in unpredictable battles. This event appeals to people who like to compete. People, for instance, who enjoy playing video games. This event attracts people who want to compete on their own terms using a robot that they actually built. In today's world, it's rare for a person to have the opportunity to build something for themselves. This event means a lot to me because it offers just such an opportunity. I gave it all I had. I have no regrets. I'm happy to make it this far. He's beaten me in the past, so I feel pretty good about coming out on top today. The camaraderie among the contestants is great, and we like meeting again each year at this event. All of the contestants set their sights for this event and work hard over the year preparing for it. These days, it seems few people have goals that they are working toward. I like to come to this event each year because I find the hard work of the contestants really inspiring. Time and again, teams repaired their robots that had been damaged in the drilling contest. Regardless of breakdowns, all the teams gave it their all and never gave up. Finally, the four strongest teams advanced to the semifinals. This event attempts to promote creativity through the design and development of robots, and also to cultivate character through communication. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now headed into the championship round. Contestants, no doubt you want to get started. Are you ready to go? And for the start of the final round, in the blue corner we find last year's champion, the high school team Nemesis NXT. Pitted against the reigning champions with its eyes on the championship is the corporate team, Yamadang Musoken. First round, fight! The compact body Nemesis NXT robot launched a quick attack against the challenger and landed some telling blows. Everyone ready? Second round, fight!
Everyone return to your starting position. This will conclude the second round. First round completed. We'll now start the third round. Please let us know if you need to make any repairs. Start your repairs. You have 45 seconds to complete them. Third round. Fight! The robot's compact body design coupled with the skillful operation of the robot's mobile arm by the team brought home another glorious championship to the Nemesis NXT for the second consecutive year. Red wins the round. Red is the champion by winning two rounds. It is true that this competitive event is a contest that pits handmade robots against each other. But through these contests, the goal is to develop robust technologies in order to create prototype robots that can serve useful purposes. This event began 14 years ago, and now it's likely that we are on the brink of seeing the development of many robots suitable for commercialization. Here on out, in this era, young people must rise to meet the many challenging problems confronting the world. I hope you will make all use of the technologies that you have developed and work towards solving these problems. Presently, Japan's global robot market share stands at 70%. In the future, the use of robots will branch out into many areas. Not only will they play a role in industry, they will also see greater use in a variety of fields that will include the fields of social welfare and nursing. The efforts of these young people at the Kawasaki Robot Festival will undoubtedly contribute to the future growth of the global robot industry. Much can be learned from the ongoing support of Kawasaki City for the robotics industry. I'm glad to have won the championship. I can't tell you how happy I am. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.